Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, my eyes look weird and that is because they're not fully done and we're gonna actually film finishing my eyes using the items that are inside this bubble envelope. Moiti Cosmetics, which I think that's how you say it. If I, if it's not, I'm so sorry. But um, Moiti Cosmetics reached out to me and said, hey, we have a 10 day lash kit. They're supposed to be like a semi-permanent lashes, so DIYing your own lash extensions at home. And they said, can we send that to you? We'd love for you to give it a try, give it a full on real review. Let us know if you like it and show it to your viewers. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that I'm all about trying things like this. I've tried like two different sets before and they did not last at all. It <laughs> drugstore version did not last at all on my eyeballs so i figured why not try this because i went online before saying yes and all of their reviews were outstanding so i was like okay people love it so i want to see if i'm going to fall in love with it too and then if i do i need to let you guys know how amazing it is so let me show you what they included in the package they sent over a cute little shimmering multicolored I don't even know what to call it but the bag is cute that's cool so I'm gonna put all my accessories in there they sent over three different lash styles one of them got like beat up in the mail but it's okay so these are the first two lash styles that I have to show you and what I'm liking about this is that they're not just individuals so they're clusters and I get to place them exactly where I want them to go and they each come with their own little spoolie and like little applicator like thingy thingy thingamabob. I also got this style over here. I wonder does it have a name? No, it doesn't. This one doesn't have a name, but this one's actually a little more on the natural side compared to the others. So I think I'm going to stick with the others. Oh, cool. So some Neutrogena towelettes. That's cute. Super lash removal gel, which I looked into it and apparently this is going to help the falsies come off when you're ready for them to come off. So if you don't want them on for the exact 10 days, say that you just want to keep them on for like a full on weekend and then you just want to take them off. This is supposed to make it super easy for the lash to come off without damaging your own natural lashes. It's a 10 day super lash bond as well as a super lash seal. It also came with this over here and I thought it was like eye, eye patches, but no, it says it's an applicator. Oh, look at that, that's pretty awesome. So it came with the applicator, but it also came with an additional spoolie and a little like doe foot applicator thingy. And then this here, it says LED hand mirror. Oh, that is so cute. It says Moiti Cosmetics in the front, which is really, really nice. Isn't this cute? So you have a magnifier at the bottom and then you have a regular one at the top and then you just, okay, that's cute. So we're gonna hold on to that. Last but not least, they sent over their Nano Mister, which is supposed to help seal the bond and all of that. It has a mirror and it is rechargeable. That's cool, but I, I really like this whole mirror feature. It's supposed to like miss that too. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm gonna put this to charge real quick. And I think we're ready to begin. I read instructions and basically you're supposed to make sure that your lashes are really clean and oil-free prior to applying them. I did really clean them and made sure they were oil-free prior to now, but then I applied makeup. So I do have a little bit of eyeshadow on the lash and I don't know if that's gonna affect it or not. So I'm gonna go in with this like micellar water really quickly and I'm gonna use a little applicator thing and I'm just going to pick up any eyeshadow that is on my lashes right now. And look, there is some, so. Moiti Cosmetics does have a lash cleanser, so you can definitely pick that up on their website as well if you want to. I don't have that, so we're just gonna wing it. They included like an instructional book. I did watch videos on this, but we're gonna go step by step and see if following their steps actually works. Step number one is wash and dry your lashes. That's done. Step number two says coat the lashes with the bond. This is the bond, here's the mirror, let's get to it. Apparently I need to coat my natural lashes like all the way, like all of them. So let's try that. Grab your segments with your little applicator. I'm gonna end up using this kit over here which is in, they're named Paris. And we're gonna work our way from the outside to the inner corner. Now that I've got my lash, it says apply some of the bond to the strip. 
we're doing that right now. And then step number four says place the first segment. We're gonna go ahead, and the cool thing is that this one you place from the top, not the bottom, which is awesome. So I'm gonna look down. All right, apparently just pop each of them on as we go, so that's what I'm gonna do. The very last piece, which is supposed to go on the inner corner, I am going to skip and I'm just gonna add it out here somewhere solely because I'm not that kind of girl that likes that lash all the way on the inner corner. It doesn't look very natural and if anything, it like feels uncomfortable to me. So I'm just gonna pop it somewhere back here. Step number six says, squeeze them together in order to bond your lashes properly, which is why this tool comes in handy. So we're just gonna go ahead and just squeeze the falsies with your own lashes. I mean, so far I think it looks good. I have some glue up here, I need to remove it. Step number seven is to wait three to four minutes, which I did, and then go in with the sealant, which is this one over here. It's supposed to be like a mascara or something. Oh, it is, it's like a little, you know, mascara thingy, so we're gonna just seal from the bottom, I guess. That's what it says, do it at the bottom. I mean, not for nothing, but these look good. Like, good, good. All drugs aside, if I can wake up and my lashes look like this every day, that would be amazing without me having to pay hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars just to get them like installed and I can do it at home, at my own pace, at my own time. That would be amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna do this side of the eye because I know that this eye is already looking fire with the eyeshadow, the lashes, and all that jazz. So let's fast forward and get this eye done. This is what they look like when you are done. There's a few things I do wanna tell you guys because like, I just noticed them as I was filming. So number one, placement is key. Once you set it and forget it and move on to the next one, if you wanna move it, try to do it quickly because it sets, like it sets. So that's one. It was a lot easier to do it on this side than on this one because it was like trial and error on this one and then on this one it was like I already kind of know what I'm doing. But this eye ended up taking me about four minutes based on my camera, four minutes to actually apply, seal, bond, do it all. So that was actually fairly, fairly quick. I kind of like this. I'm gonna see whether or not it does last the 10 days and I'll let you guys know over on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you absolutely need to. Cause if they do last the 10 days, I feel like I'm gonna save one of these pairs. I have two more pairs. I might save one of these pairs for um, the week that I'm supposed to be giving birth. <laughs> that way, even though my face won't be done, at least my eyes will look cute with lashes and stuff, you know? Also, their little instruction book has care instructions. So these are things that I want you to be aware of. There's only six uh, listed here, but before you dive on in, I want you to mentally prepare. It says, avoid getting your lashes wet for up to 48 hours after application. Kind of late for me on that one, but I'll do my best to just clean around the lashes without really touching the lash. It says, do not rub or tug or touch your lashes. Y'all saw me literally just do this, so my bad. <laughs> These are all the things I tend to do. Number three says, when showering, don't position your head directly under the stream of water, but it's okay for your lashes to indirectly get wet. Okay. Do not apply mascara on the extensions. Didn't do that. Do not use oil-based products around your eyes. That's perfectly fine, so I'll just... Again, work around the eyes in the meantime to remove the eye makeup. Do not sleep on your face or use a sleep mask. I haven't really been using my sleep mask, so that's a non-issue for me. And I don't sleep on my face. If anything, I like sleeping like this. Like, I don't even like sleeping like this too much because it's just like face and wrinkles and stuff. So we will see how this works. Wait, wait, and we cannot forget to try the Nano Mister, which it, it, it really stood out to me. 
off of their website first of all we're looking flawless right about now because i can see myself in the mirror i charged it for about 20 minutes you're supposed to charge it for a lot longer make sure you read the instructions if you snag this baby and then i uh filled up the water tank you can only use purified water or mineral water do not add extra ingredients like essential oils or anything like that and do not use alcohol to clean it but look right when you open it on it missed Satchu. Is this not like the coolest thing? So you can just, it's a mist, which feels delicious. Let me try to do it away from my eyelashes though, because they just said don't do it. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I love this. I love this. I love this, love this. Guys, so far, so good. This is the first time that I apply lashes that are supposed to last long term on your eyes, not just like for the day. And I haven't had to replace one, reapply one, add more glue, rebond it, because honestly, like in the past, I, I haven't been, like it's taken me twice as long to finish filming a video because I've had to go back in and tweak it and fix it and the this, the that, and the other. It was actually very, very easy to apply these. Everything was pretty straightforward. I love the accessories. This lash tool, I know it looks like a regular lash tool to just anybody. I've had a few, and this is the only one that actually grabbed the lashes properly and helped me apply it properly. I don't know if it's because it's better made, but the other ones, like the, you would go like this and the lashes would like slip out of it for some reason. I don't know why. Every single item they sent over was phenomenal today. I really wanna see myself 10 days from now with my eyes like fully lashed. I'm gonna make sure I link Moiti Cosmetics down below for you guys if you wanna go check them out and if, if there is a discount code you can use, I will make sure it'll be down there as well. I don't recall whether or not they gave me one, but if they did, I, I it'll be there. All right, guys, let me know down below what do you guys think about this 10-day lash kit? Is it something that intrigues you? Is it something that you'd be interested in snagging and trying just to see whether or not this is a better alternative to lash extensions? Give me the 411 on what you're thinking down below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you check out the videos that are coming here on screen. There are more tutorials, more how-tos, more unboxings, more beauty-related reviews and vlogs. I know you're gonna absolutely love those, and I'll see you over there. Bye, guys.